hello guys welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial i'm gonna show you how you can make a pathfinding system i already did some experimenting with this so this guy walks now through the screen part using pathfinding There we go. Now, there are some limits to this. So, if the NPC wants to, if your part is like on a ladder, the pathfinding may error or moves to a weird location. So, in this case, it would say it, path could not be computed. You can't climb, is the big problem. What also sometimes happens, if your position is like this, maybe, I just need to try it. He actually finds a path, but goes to the closest point. Like this. He's not really at the part, but is at the closest point. Which what also does not work. Well, it works if you set collision of a part to false, he can go through. But if you use collision groups that and give the NPC the same collision group of this door here, I just made an. I will make a tutorial of this soon. So I made a collision group, make it so that the collision group does not color die with itself and set the door and the NPC to it and if I move the part now in there he also will not be able to go there so these are the big limits that I have found while testing this and now I will show you how to even use this this script here I'm gonna post in the description so you can do it yourself and uh, you, you can just modify it I mean let's move this guy away for now and for the animations I just use the wandering NPC And in there, I just deleted the NPC script and I keep the sound and the animate. So he still has his animations. <clears throat> so next thing would be inserting a new script. I'm just going to call this computer pad. And the main block for pathfinding we need is computer path. The description says using pathfinding service to compute a path between two vectors, start position and end position. And this block also yields, so if it's maybe taking for some reason a bit longer, connected blocks will not run until it found the path or it didn't found the path. And it returns the empty table if the path cannot be computed. So you can maybe do whatever you want if the table is empty. So let's just begin with two blocks. The first one will be getting the start position. So this would be the NPC torso. So we're just going to use start position and we will also do <laughs> used <coughs> the goal part that I made you can also just use a vector tree if it's like if you have like a real position a fixed one and then we can output our path 
as in table. So if we now print this code, let's clean up. We get a table and if we make this a little bit bigger, we see a lot of numbers and vectors. Vectors are like the positions of the next location. So, and if the path is not reachable, like, I don't know, maybe this will work. It says path cannot be computed, it just errors that. And you have an empty table. So the script actually does not break. It just errors this as an information. So let's go back to our pathfinding guy. And let's just make a loop to table of the path and call this position. Now let's just for testing <coughs> make a part in game with workspace. Let's call this just test. Set the test and short to true. You don't need to do this. I'm just showing you with this something. Let's make the sides to a vector three. And let's set position to the position we got from the table. If you run this now, we see here this is these are the points he's going to follow. So here apparently he goes for some reason to this location and then all the way directly back there. And here's the end. So uh, let's go back to the guide. I was just doing this to show you how this actually looks. So what we can do now is we still use the loop and we'll make a search for the humanoid move to block. If you see here, it sets the humanoid target to the specific location. The humanoid will attempt to walk to the location. If the humanoid cannot reach its target in 8 seconds, the move to is cancelled. So we need this block, but also the move to finished. <coughs> the humanoid move to finished, we will just set the humanoid to. And... Uh, do, do, do. And this basically says if it switched the target or not. So if the eight seconds passed, I think. Now we can also set a variable then to this like that. <coughs> and call this is moving to bool. False. And here, after he finished, we also will set moving to false. Now here, after computer path, we'll set the is, no, not there. We will first do get a position here from the table and set the unit move to to the position. Then we will make the is moving to true before that or after that. And now we will make a while loop. While is moving equals to true. We'll make a wait zero to just wait until he reached its target. So if you play test now, We 
we have a working guy. So just to, because the explanation was maybe a bit weird, um, just for explanation again. So we have an is moving variable, which is false by default. If the humor had moved to finished of the first position, basically, so we say him walk to this position from getting the path here and looping to the table. So the first one would be this position. So we basically say now, hey, guy is moving now and say here you move to this location. And while this is true, we will wait. So he will not we walk to the next position already while he's still moving to the first one. So here we just check, hey, did you reach your target from the move to function? If so, set the is moving to false. So we can go out of this while loop and continue with the next index. <coughs> And this is basically how you can make a walking pathfinding NPC. I hope this helps you. And have a nice day. Bye.